Some walk by day, some walk by night, jumping and running along steep slopes or moving among the arms and legs of big mining machines and with the landslides often killing hundreds of them at a time. This is the world's epicenter of jade mining in the town of Pekant in northern Myanmar. It's here where large mining companies use dynamite to turn mountains into rubble, where impoverished freelance miners then rush to scavenge through debris without any safety measures, hoping to find the coveted milky green gemstone. For the Chinese, they love the jade stones. There's even a saying, gold is valuable, but jade is priceless. It is a status of wealth, it is a symbol of charm, um, good luck, good health, etc. A handful, a small size of a good quality stone can be worth up to millions of dollars. That was Min Zhaar Wu, a photojournalist who has been documenting the harsh and complex realities surrounding this precious stone. In my opinion, this dream, which is to find a life-changing stone, seems uh, really a rare chance compared to the higher chance of being killed in an accident or to becoming drug addicts, or maybe worse. In 2015, a landslide collapsed on a mining camp, burying 114 sleeping workers. But despite the risk of death and backbreaking work, the miners are still pouring in. Myanmar's jade mining industry is worth up to $31 billion per year, nearly half of the national GDP. But most of this wealth gets pocketed by large companies, drug lords, and the military elite. The jade mining here also linked in many ways to the longest civil conflict in the country. At the same time, it has also been fueling the conflict, the drug trade. It has played a big role in um, countless human rights abuses in the region. However, this tide could change. In 2016, Myanmar elected its first civilian president after 50 years of military rule. And it seems the government is making strides to fight corruption and improve conditions for jade miners. In part, it's thanks to photojournalists like Min Zhaar Wu, whose work shows that sometimes luxury comes with a dark and hidden price. I hope that my work highlights the human cost and that um, it would raise a question if that cost is really worth it after all. Don't forget to subscribe for more Seeker Stories and click here to see how women in Afghanistan are finding their voice behind the burqa.